Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland and this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with the binomial distribution uh, is once again continuing on with our bus, our bus journey uh, example. Okay? So let me just run through this again. So we have a bus company runs buses from Dublin to Galway okay? and the buses run five times a day. So there's five buses over the course of a day from Dublin to Galway. Okay? And what we know is also this is that there's a 10% probability, there's a 10% likelihood, there's a 10% chance yeah, that any one of its buses, okay, any one of the buses that go from Dublin to Galway, that there's a 10% probability okay, uh, that any one of these buses will be more than five minutes late arriving in Galway okay? and what we'd like to calculate is this is what is the probability that more than that more than is in, important here that more than one bus is late okay, on any particular on any particular day okay? now in this situation we've got this is what's known as a binomial uh, a binomial probability because there's one or two things that can happen in relation to each one of these particular journeys bus journeys the bus is either late or the bus arrives on time so it's a su success or a failure, if that makes sense. It arrives on time or it's late. It's broken or it's not broken, if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. They're what's known as binomial probabilities. And what we have is we have a formula that allows us to calculate them. And the formula says this is that the probability that your that your binomial experiment takes on a specific value, okay, is equal to n c x times p to the power of x times one minus p to the power of n minus x. Okay, it's a formula. Okay, now don't have a heart attack when you see this particular formula. There's the formula here, and the formula has specific values in it that we're going to explain now in a moment. Yeah. So it has n's, it has p's, and it has x's. So n uh, has p and it has x values, if that makes sense. Okay? So the n is always the total number of observations, the total number of objects, the total number of trials, the total number of things that have been performed, the total number of things that you're looking at. Okay. In this case, there's five buses that make journeys from Dublin to Galway, so five times a day. So in our case here, n is equal to n is equal to five, and p is the probability of something happening. Okay. Now, in this case, we have a 10% likelihood, a 10% probability. So p is equal to 0 0.10. Now, but hang on, this P has also got a context, and the context of this 0 0.10 is it's with respect to that buses are late arriving. So this is late, that buses are late, okay? And X is a specific value, okay? It's a specific, uh, out of the total number of objects, how many things does this thing happen to? So, for example, uh, if I was interested in that exactly three buses were late, X would be three. If I was interested in exactly four buses were late, X would be four. Exactly one bus is late, X is one. No buses are late, X is zero. All the buses are late, X is equal to five. But I'm not interested in that in this case. What we're interested in is what is the probability that more than one bus will be late? So let's just try to work out what could happen. As I says, we could have X is equal to zero. Okay, so X could be equal to zero. So we could have, what's the probability that no buses are late? Okay. We could calculate what's the probability that one bus is late. We could calculate what's the probability that two buses are late. We could calculate what's the probability that three buses are late. We could calculate what's the probability that four buses are late. And we could calculate the probability that five buses are late. So we could calculate all these probabilities. Now what do we know? They're the only things that could happen. You could have zero buses late, one, two, three, four, or five buses late. So they're all the possible probabilities, all mutually exclusive, and they exhaust all the possible things that could happen. So what we know is that the sum of all these probabilities must be equal to one. Okay? But we're interested in what's the probability that more than one bus is late. So more than one bus is late is, well, Hmm, that means two could have been late. That's more than one. But hang on, it could mean three as well. Three are late, four are late, or five are late. So actually, we're interested in this particular probability over here. Okay, But let's keep in mind that the total sum of all the probabilities okay, must add up to be equal to, must equal, must equal one. Okay? It's the total sum of all the probabilities. Now, we're interested in calculating it's more than one bus, so we're interested, let me get actually a blue mark.